Let me let me let me do this. We'll give a shout out uh, to this famous video that I've been dying to to talk to you about. Bill Maher. <laughs> you were on you were on real time with Bill Maher. What was this like 2017 or 2018? No, no, no. It was actually 2019. 2019. Which is even more wow. remarkable how recent. <laughs> so you were on uh, with Bill Maher and you you mentioned that there are uh, tampons in the men's restrooms at universities and Bill the panel and the audience. That's why I said men menstruate is a left-wing lie. Right. Okay. And then they all started laughing, and Bill Maher goes, what? What are you Who talking? says Who that? Says? And you were like, it's in the news. Look it up. And they were like, no. And you were like, they have tampons in the men's room. And Bill goes, it's for their girlfriends. Remarkable. The arrogance and ignorance at the same time. Instead of just being like, I'm, I got to call. Here's, here's what I'd say. If you said something to me that I thought was wrong, I'd pull it up. And if we were on a show like that, I would be like, are you serious with this? Is this true? Can we get someone to check that? And guess what they would have done? They would have come back and be like, he's right. Right, correct. Well, I, I, it was a great moment because the entire panel, Bill Maher and the entire audience laughed at me. And uh, just for the record, I actually enjoy that. I'm not a masochist, but when I know I'm right and you have a whole bunch of people laughing at you, it is so revealing as to how easily people are brainwashed that that's the reason that I liked it. That, that audience didn't hear it from the New York Times, so it didn't happen. That, that, that they, as I say on my radio show almost every day, they don't know that is the left. They don't know what we know. Well, so uh, I pulled up the article because we actually did a segment on it. That's an old article. This is an article from the Daily Beast, which is fake news, by the way. NewsGuard says they're fake news. Um, published September 21st, 2016, which is titled, Yes, Men Can Have Periods and We Need to Talk About Them. So 2016, you go on Bill Maher's show three years right. later. Years. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say it's, it's left and right in this country is do you read the news or are you just an arrogant Also, it person? shows you this is a very important lesson. The speed with which the left can have people say wet is dry. Mm. This, this, that was October uh, or, or November of 2019. Wow. And within a year and a half, if you said men do not menstruate, you were considered a hater. That is how fast the left changes half this country's views on A equals B equals C. This is the issue I, 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 this is the issue I have with Bill Maher, right? I do appreciate that he's called out woke nonsense, that he believes in free speech, but the man doesn't do research. I, I, I don't know, is he retired? You know, is, is this, you know, I, 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 ref, I say retired in the sense that he's phoning it in. He shows up, he says, give me the cue cards. He sits down and he says, what are you talking about? I didn't read that. And it's like, Bill, this story is three and a half years old. If you don't know about this, that's your fault, not mine. How could a guy have one of the, one, he has a million viewers per, per night when he does a show, per, per night, you know, per show, which is weekly. And this guy didn't bother to read the news three and a half years ago. I mean, this story has been extremely prominent. It's not, it's not this one article I've pulled up. The issue surrounding this has been going on for quite some time. The issue surrounding racial segregation has been happening over and over and over again. You would have to actively ignore the news to not know these things. Yeah, I just want to say uh, that it's so rare to have a liberal call out the left that I, I, want, to, I want to salute him. <laughs> As you pointed out yourself, yeah. he, he does call out wokeness. Uh, but you you would you would think he would have known it. That is correct. I think it's an example of kind of the old media model of like let's have an interview and damn be the consequences versus the new model of let's have access to the internet and look it up and fact check in real time. Like Rogan never would have had a hit show if he didn't have someone looking up the facts. He would have just been wrong a bunch and looked like an idiot. Well, well, I, well, I think the biggest thing is admitting that you're wrong, and I think that's the biggest difference between individuals online. And there are a lot of individuals, predominantly, who are promoted by big tech social media that never admit that they are wrong. Bill Maher just a couple weeks ago was talking about how the economy is doing great. We're in a recovery. Everything's fine. The, the, the right wingers are, are being sensationalistic when it comes to the dire economic numbers. And here we are sitting with the calamity that, that we're facing uh, that is absolutely unavoidable right now. Is he going to, to talk about his mistakes? Probably not.
And, and, you know, I'll give you my thoughts on this. We mentioned this the other day. We had uh, Jamie Kilstein on. He's a he's a liberal comedian, I guess, but he was canceled and, you know, they came after him. So he's like formerly woke. And we were talking about the red flag laws. And I said, red flag laws, it's stop and frisk on steroids. So I'm at Occupy Wall Street. Jamie's at Occupy Wall Street. Luke's down there. And across the spectrum, we're like, stop and frisk is a bad thing. What they were doing, are you you're familiar with stop and frisk? Of course. Know. So it turns out, according to a few whistleblowers, that the mayor actually ordered the police, or I should say the police were ordered to specifically target racial minorities. And the justification was, well, that's the demographic committing the crime. And the response on the left was like, if it's the neighborhood, perhaps, but to come out blanket, just be like, no, it was the racial group. So we were like, it, it, these Terry stops are a violation of your, fourth, of your Fourth Amendment rights. Regardless, I'm not a fan. Red flag laws are the same thing, but now they can go into your house. How is it that the left and liberals were like, stop and frisk is wrong and morally repugnant, but red flag laws, it's even worse, but we should have that. There's no logical consistency to what they're arguing for. So, you know, we're talking with Jamie and his, his attitude is like, I didn't think about it that way, but you're right. Stop and frisk was a bad thing. Why would the left be championing for something worse than it, which is the same thing? The, the left doesn't think about right and wrong. It thinks about it. Mor morality separates. This is this is my field, as it were. The moral outlook on life is what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad. The left, since Lenin, really since Marx, never asked that. It doesn't divide the world between good and bad. It divides the world between rich and poor black and white, strong and weak, male and female, imperialist versus victim. That does not, div those are its divisions, not good and bad. I knew, I learned this at Columbia when I was told by every single professor I had, it is not possible to be a black racist. It is not possible. Well, when was that? What? Oh, this 1970s. Wow. So, it, the, a lot of this stuff is not new. It's worse right. than ever. It's more absurd than ever, but it's not new. Yeah. That is a very important statement. A black cannot be a racist. It means moral criteria do not apply where there's a racial criterion. Race trumps morality. Economics trump morality. Power trumps morality. Morality is not a left-wing consideration. And, and, and those of us who think... In normal terms, wait, there's right and wrong. A black could be a racist, a white could be a racist. A black could be beautiful, a white could be beautiful. No, that is non-left thinking. Right. I don't know if you, uh, some people say left, some people say people who are indoctrinated and, and don't cr critically think. There was a, an incredible video that, that was highlighted that I, that I played on, on one of my members areas uh, today, specifically highlighting a young man at an abortion uh, rally, specifically women who are arguing for abortion, for women's reproductive rights. And he asked them, my body, my choice? All of them said, absolutely, 100%. And then he asked them, where did you stand on the mandates just a few months ago? And all Vaccines. of them, all, yeah, with the vaccine mandates specifically, and all of them had this moment of, uh, but I, that's well, different. That's what they said. Yeah, that's that's different. One but, woman, but, the, the last one was funny. She goes, "I'm not talking about that." Exactly, but the, <laughs> but the principles, the morals there, you know, they're, they're inconsistent. They're they're absolutely illogical. They're, people are not critically thinking. They're being swayed by emotional mind control that's telling them what they should be fitting believing in, and pushing for. Fitting in tribe cult most mentality. Of the, most of these default liberal types just want to fit in. So whatever the machine tells them, they say, okay. Yeah. Then you have the left, which has seized the reins of the machine, and they're just thrown out edict. So is communism the easiest thing to fit into, like politically, geopolitically, um, as opposed to like, because it's not easy to be an American that's constantly freaking out about freedom and like always so thanks for checking out this segment from the timcast irl podcast if you want to watch live you can check out this channel monday through friday at 8 p.m and don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to this channel and if you want more unfiltered and uncensored content with all of these guests go to timcast.com and become a member all of these guests you know and love in exclusive segments on our website where we are unrestricted in what we talk about, so you'll definitely not want to miss it. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all next time.